Meow. The man had to feed the toad every day from then on, or it would bite his face. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Swingpoint, and welcome to a game called Fragments of Ham. Let's get straight into it here, and I'll talk to you guys about this game as we go on. I believe that this game is going to explore some heavy topics, mainly dealing with how people deal with grief, if that makes sense. Because I believe that this story revolves around a character who dies, and then we explore what it means or what happens to everyone else after that person dies. Like, how it affects everyone else, I believe. So, let's go ahead and hit this first object here. I believe this game is gonna kind of be like, uh, That Dragon Cancer, or like a Gone Home, where you just kind of like explore with the game, it's more narrative, and you just kind of like sit back and soak in the story. And... That's about really all I have in terms of what to expect out of it. I don't know how long it's gonna be, how intense the feelings are gonna get, but I've seen nothing but good things about it so far. And you can see it's very stylized, very artistic, has a very distinct feel to it. At least that's the impression I'm getting. So yeah, let me, let me see what I have here. It's an interactive narrative told from a second person perspective. It revolves around a tragic accident and the life of a victim and his loved ones before and after the incident. The player plays through events and locations as if they were the spirit or the intellect of the characters. Interesting. Oh, so we get to have choice. Okay. Bye, Harry. See you tonight. I love you. Have a good day. Oh, wow. So it's going to be a little interactive here. I wonder if that's going to affect things later on. I love you. Have a good day. I like his accent. <laughs> so it's easy to forget to appreciate the small things. I... I think I've done that too much. Oh, that's a good quote to start off the game. Damn. Interesting. So yeah, I can move around. But like, okay, so we're playing as like a spirit, I guess? I like how things light up. It kind of gives you a direction as to where to go. What is this? I should have looked at this view more. I'll do that from now on. And now, I don't know if I'm playing as the dude that's gonna die? Or what? Because, yeah, it says you play before and after, so there's going to be some, I, I don't know, there's going to be like an epic car crash, or what's going to happen here? Hey, there's people over here. So now, can I go and talk to you, or would I not bother? Or can I, oh! So I can take the stairs, or I can take the elevator. Can I go up here? Now, I just like exploring things a little bit right when we first get into the game, just to kind of like... See what I'm all allowed to do for later in the game. Let's try taking the stairs. A little bit of exercise, huh? The exercise yeah. is good for me. Yeah! I mean, it's not good for you if you're dead, which might happen pretty quick here, but you know. At least you get to look at this nice view. It gives me time to think. But that being said, I'm a little lighthearted right now. I don't imagine it's going to stay that way. <laughs> little bits of exercise are better than an occasional hour. Really? Well, let's keep walking here. I've got to think long term. Hmm. Like, I'm kind of seeing little bits and pieces there where they're like trying to interject a message. Like, I got to think long term. Well, you got to live moment by moment too, right? Because you never know when your life's going to be taken from you. Boop. Just drifting through the days. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I'm starting to like, okay, that's the initial vibe I'm getting right away is like, this guy kind of became complacent and wasn't really appreciating things. It's, it's already hit on that, like, I don't know, how, who knows how many different times that was the first sentence of the game. Stop taking things for granted, start appreciating things a little bit more. Well, where are we going here, huh? I'm going to tell him how I feel. And now, yeah, there's a couple of different characters that are in this game. You're gonna see how he influenced the- the character's name is Will, like the character that dies, I believe. And you're gonna see how this character influenced his grandmother Mary, his ex-girlfriend Sarah, and his boyfriend Harry. Hmm. Well, let's get inside the car here. I can't help but think it's gonna be a car crash. And by the way, I'm a little sick right now, so if my voice isn't quite normal, I apologize for that. I haven't had videos out pretty much all week this week because I've had a nasty, nasty sinus infection. And I'm finally getting to the point where I feel like I'm getting better. So, I apologize if my energy isn't quite where it usually is. It's kind of why I wanted to play a game like this, because I don't have to be like super- ah! It's more so just soaking in the story. I don't want to lose what we've got to by not paying attention to it. Wow, dude. Are these like the thoughts you always have? Or like, is this just like you looking back at your life because you're dead? Like, holy man, this is some pretty deep stuff you're always thinking about. Hmm. 
This is most definitely not America. Well, let's turn on the radio here. Interesting music. Can I turn that back off? No. What else can I do here? I can look. Oh, seatbelt first. There Some it is. Some of the patterns are worth keeping. Here we go. Now let's get out of Other here. Other routines are just how we fill our days. Dude, that's part of why I started doing YouTube. Is because like the routine of where I was and what I was doing. Just, I was like, man, I only live once. Working where I was working, like it was a great company, but it just wasn't very fulfilling for me. So I was like, I gotta do something that I want to do, something that feels like it matters. Which is why I started doing YouTube because I really love it. I really love you guys. I really love exploring games like this and learning new things and digesting new stories. I'm really nervous about this music, by the way. I hope I don't get content ID for that. Blah. I got a bad feeling that this is gonna be absolutely horrible really soon. <clears throat> like there's gonna be a. We're gonna get T-boned right away or something. Oh god. I'm like looking around because I'm afraid it's gonna hit me. Oh boy. Yeah. No, nothing coming from behind me. <coughs> oh my god, this is the worst right I now. I should have paid more attention to the small stuff. Not locked on to avoiding everything that matters. Okay, so this definitely seems like he's thinking from the perspective of somebody who's already dead. It's not like he's just always talking to himself like this. Like, I should have done this. If only I'd done this more, like, things like that. Oh, things are okay, but they're not going anywhere. I'm so nervous right now. Something's gonna happen any moment. Oh, God, I hate this. <laughs> ah! I don't want to lose him. Now you sound like you're talking about your boyfriend. Right? Harry, I think, is the boyfriend's name, and, we, and this must be Will. Wait, can I touch things while I'm in here? Oh, I can look at things. I always smile when I see that place. Maybe we'll go there tonight. It's so weird driving on this side of the road. I don't know where people drive on this side of the road. I don't know if it's like in England or like, not England, but like, the Europe in general. I always say England, and I know that pisses people off who are like from Europe. I just, England isn't everything over there. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I messed up, okay? I'm human. Give me a break. I'm sick. <laughs> but like, does all of Europe drive on this side of the road? Is it like a continental thing where like Canada and America, or like United States of America drives on the right side of the road and then... I don't know, man. Kind of weirded me out. Oh, I totally could look at this. Maybe we'll go feed the ducks this weekend. I love the way they walk. Dude, I love ducks too. I love it when they walk on concrete. It goes pet, 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 pet. He's humming to himself, huh? It's not really matching the song, but you know, whatevs. He's got to know how I feel about him. <coughs> I love him so much. Aww, yeah, adorable. <laughs> Where did it even come from? Did I get rear-ended? I didn't see it coming from the front side. There ain't no reason for it to come from the front side. It must have got rear-ended. Hello? Shut up. Oh, I can turn it off. Okay. I can move. Shut up. Patterns. Every day, the same start. <sighs> Harry never wakes up from my alarm. Harry Potter? Dude, you're built. Holy shit. Look at those arms. Damn. No wonder Harry likes you. Okay. I think of these routines as optimized living, like they allow me time to focus on other things. But I've not been doing that. Man. Like this game is already, you can just tell it's gonna be so deep because it's just so focusing in on like, what am I really doing with my life? Am I doing things that matter? Am I paying attention to the things that matter? Or am I just drifted by day by day? Am I not appreciating this life that I have? Like, so much of that going on. Oh my gosh. And like, whenever, whenever you take the time to sit and think about those types of things, it's really, like, humbling and sobering. Why have I just passed by this for so long? See? It's beautiful. Everything he's saying is like, man, why didn't I appreciate things more?
Harry likes me in this t-shirt. Does he like you in these pants? I bet you got some nice booty! Look at him. Point that ass right at me. Nothing. Well, screw that one. Let's use some of these books. I really feel like I need to read more. There's two things I really feel like I need to do more. Read and then watch more movies. Great stories movies. trapped in a moment. They're brilliant, but maybe I should add some new ones. Ooh. See, like, I don't know if it's just me reading way too deep into these things, but like, hmm, maybe I should add some new ones. Like, add more stories to your life type of thing. Not just like adding more books on the shelf. That's what I, that's where my brain goes. I don't know, maybe I just think too much into these things. I'm grateful for everything we have, but probably not as much as I should be. It would be easy to think I wasn't happy. I am, I think. I mustn't let it slide away. Hmm. Well, got my sweatshirt on. Let's leave out the door here, I guess. See, so, yeah, I wanted to play a game that was a little bit more like... We just kind of soak in the story instead of me trying to like really... Really have I the energy I feel like I should try to break patterns. I usually use the bathroom first. So, what are we gonna do now? Well, this is the bathroom. And we want to break pattern, so we're going this way. Oh, I could boost a little bit, sure. Well, it's not letting you look or touch or anything else, right? Well, Changing the routine. I'm so rock and roll. To go to the kitchen first. Tea. <laughs> How British of you. Do you have some crumpets over here? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a man takes the lead, Grandma would tell me. I guess I need to step up to the line. I've got a great thing here. Yeah, that's a pretty nice place you got here, by the way. Damn. I wouldn't be complaining. Seriously, look at all this. What is this thing, huh? Your tea, She's right? She's a good woman at heart. Old-fashioned, but still. She's right. A man steps up to challenges. I'll ask Harry to marry me. Husband and husband for the rest of our lives. Why can't Harry step up, huh? He's a man too. He can go step up and ask you to marry him. Yeah. <laughs> will Grandma come to the wedding? I think she will. Maybe. Is your grandma not accepting of your lifestyle? Is she that type of old person? There's a lot of old people like that in America. A lot of them. Oh my God. Not to get political, but this whole like Donald Trump thing. Really crafted people out of the woodwork here. Showing how far America still has to go in terms of being accepting. Naturally, as Will's grandmother, I visited Will in hospital on the first day that he was born. James, Will's father, handed him to me, wrapped in a little blue blanket. I'll never forget that moment. He was such a handsome this baby. It's like Bob's Burgers. James ran three London pubs in the 1980s. Of that punk sort, he looked awful with that leather jacket and those sort of things. Okay. That's not the sort of thing for children. So I would babysit as often as possible to make sure he had someone normal in his life. This is totally like Bob's Burgers where like all the, all the females have like male voice actors. <laughs> Sharon was always reading. She taught art history. Never really made much money. I gotta turn this music off. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. There was Thank always you. music playing when I got to the house. Some awful racket. Not the sort of thing the child should be hearing. I always turned it off. Me too. Again, I don't want to get freaking copyrighted while I'm on YouTube. I mean, you must be grandma, huh? You even kind of look like a man. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. James loves such peculiar books. All those horror things. That one about the rats. Dreadful things, really. I don't know what he saw in them. The rats, huh? I know that there's a. Uh, I can't remember what the book is called, but I remember, st I remember people studying it in high school when there was like, it was about World War Two, and it was like a bunch of mice and there was cats in it too, and I think the cats were like the Nazis. I can't, I can't quite remember. Cannot quite remember, but I know that there was a book somewhere along like that. Sharon had some problems with the birth, so Will was an only child growing up. He played by <coughs> himself a lot. Okay, so let's see what this is. Sharon, Will's mother, met my James when he was working in London. 
she's American. They broke up for three years, and she took Will to America with her. Okay. So we're getting a lot of interesting backstory here, I guess. I always thought Will should play outside more. He preferred making up stories, even back then. I suppose I sound old-fashioned, but there are appropriate ways to raise a child. I only wanted Will to grow up happy and normal. Yeah, I'm getting a really judgmental vibe from this grandma. Like, everything we've been touching, grandma really just seems like she has to interject her own opinion into it. Maybe that's just me, but that's the vibe I'm getting. What are these, huh? I remember that evening. Will had been quieter than usual. Were you manlier than usual? God damn. I'm such an ass when I don't like someone. Oh, I can touch more things. Okay. He'd got into a fight at school. Ooh. And then what? It started because a boy had been picking on a girl, calling her names because of her dark skin. And then Will stood up for her, right? Will was punched in the stomach when he tried to get the boy to stop. That a boy, Will. Gotta stand up for what's right, buddy. I asked him if he had cried. And he said yes. I told him that big boys don't cry. I remember him asking me then, what do big boys do when they're sad? I suppose I didn't answer his question. I told him that he would be a good man when he was grown up and be able to stand up for himself. Even though he was hurt, I told him he was right to try to stop the bully. No oh, Rube Goldberg going on here, huh? Hey! Looking back, I don't think he seemed very comforted. <sighs> well, yeah, you told the kid not to cry. Dude, like, I'm just thinking, like... I, I, I bet people would have a field day sitting there telling boys not to cry because that's not a boy thing to do, like, all the gender stereotypes and things like that. Let's see what this thing is. Will tripped over his toy van. Oh god! When he was going to bed. Yeah, putts! <laughs> you gonna get up? Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> god damn it. You really got conked out over this freaking thing. Or you just have one of those days where, like, you fall over and you're like, fuck it. I'm not gonna stand up for a while. I'm just gonna sit and bask in my misery. <laughs> I remember carrying him. He was trying so hard not to cry. Oh, he's crying. He was so small in my arms. I've Shh. never forgotten that feeling. Yo, look, that small. He's like half your size, man. <laughs> Can I go inside of here? No. Oh. Interesting. So, main vibes I got from that is that Grandma's a little judgmental. But I think she has good intentions. And that Will is like the ultimate sweetheart that everyone loves, right? Mm. It's most odd what sticks with you. A whole patchwork of memories making up our lives. Okay. Yeah, this is really interesting so far. Really interesting. Like, it's doing a good job of giving you just tiny bits of story to, like, make you wonder what it all means and what's going to come next. You know what I mean? I took him to bed. To read him a story. That bed? Aww. How oh, adorable. Well, let's see what the story was. Rebel he Stealth liked those stories, but I thought he was too young for them. He would get very scared after the light was out. Sharon kept on buying him more, though. Damn it, Sharon! You messing up my boy, Sharon? I always had to check the room for ghosts before he would settle down. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, none under here. You could be like a dick and like pretend to get taken. <laughs> That's what I would do. I'd like have my arm just be like jammed underneath the bed all of a sudden. Ah, Will, help me! <laughs> but that's because I am a big brother and that's what big brothers do. They're assholes. I made sure he could see me looking carefully. <laughs> Yeah, there. Sure enough. Grandma checks behind the bookcase for you. Let's see if there's any under the desk. <laughs> Aww.
I remember that night clearly. I remember promising him that I would always protect him, no matter whatever happened. Of course, he was thinking of ghosts still. But maybe I knew then that his life wasn't going to be so easy. Oh. Explain. See, you know, the grandma did have a really good point there. Like, it's interesting what parts of your life stick with you. Because you'll be like, well, man, of all the things for me to remember, why is that the thing that's in my head right now? You, you, you know that feeling, right? Everyone gets that feeling. I swear everyone has to get that feeling. It's like, it is really interesting to see what sticks with people. Like, think back and like, it's not one of those things that like, you just always have in your head, but like when you just think back in your past and like this weird thing comes up that you would have, like, why would I remember that of all things? Like, I think that's what I've she's talking about. I've been reading him Grimm's fairy tales. I didn't like all the updated nonsense they'd been putting into stories back then. God damn it, Grandma. You sound like such a grandma. <laughs> it was a strange story that night called The Ungrateful Son. Mm-hmm. I'll tell it to you. It's only short. Okay. Once upon a time, a man and his wife were eating a roast chicken for dinner. The end. <laughs> when the man saw his father, a very old man, walking along the road towards them, the man didn't want to share his chicken, <laughs> so he hid it out of sight. No chicken for you, Dad. It's all mine. His father <laughs> came, bid them a good day, and went on his way. <laughs> okay. Why do you not want to share your chicken with your dad? You look like you need to shave a little bit too, oh boy. The man was very happy and so told his wife to put the chicken on the table again. What's this bird doing here, by the way? Swear, man, Blackbird's always bad news. But the chicken had transformed into a giant toad, which <laughs> leapt onto the face of the man. The bird just flies out here laughing. Shut up, bird. The toad wouldn't leave his face and hissed at the wife when she came near, so she didn't dare approach to help. Is the toad gonna choke him out? The man had to feed the toad every day from then on, or it would bite his face. <laughs> and he never rested for the remainder of his life. What? It's because he was greedy? Like I say, it was a very strange story. It was very strange. <laughs> what the hell? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, God. I wish I wasn't sick. That was a sick story, though. Damn. And then what? Will was asleep before I finished it, which was probably a good thing. How could you fall asleep? That was an amazing story. Not to mention the story took like a whole two minutes to tell. This kid just wanted to sleep. Okay. Can I go touch this light? Sure enough. Can I touch this light? Sure enough. Go touch this light? Don't think so, Grandma. What does this one do? There we go. It left me in an odd mood. I wondered how long I would be able to keep him safe. Before the toad jumps on his face? Now, one thing I always am trying to get better at is like trying to connect parts of the story at the beginning to parts of the story at the end. So I'm trying to think of like why or what this toad would I didn't know where mean. life was going to take him. I was his grandmother, and I hoped I would help him be a good man. Grandma sounds more grandma-y than she did at the beginning. She sounded like a man right away, but she sounds more like a grandma now. Maybe it was just my own ears playing tricks on me. Well, what you peeking in on here, Grandma? I could still see him sleeping there now. Like it was only yesterday. It is kind of sad how, like, everything that we're listening to all sounds so in the past. If that makes sense, like they're sitting here reminiscing on Will, which is which is sad. Like that, that, and that's 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 the worst part about when someone dies. It's like that's all you have is their memories. Like, like my grandpa died. Both my grandpas died earlier this year. Or I never thought it would be easy. I'll tell you later. But I had raised James, <clears throat> so I thought I would be ready for anything from my grandson Will. The world <laughs> changes so quickly. It does. Oh man, we got. We got four people here, and one of them's red. Is it because my cursor's over you? That's why. Well, let's try talking to... this one. Or not. This one, and this one, and this one. I remember the family visiting me when Will was a teenager. Okay. 
Well, let's turn off your stupid music again, damn it. Do you know Al Martino's here in my heart? He had such a lovely voice. It was playing when Robert first kissed me. Robert would hum it to me sometimes. Cool story, bro. I started a small collection of glass animals many years ago. My grandma collects Furbies. I would buy a new one whenever I went to Brighton. It's good to get out of the house. Enjoy the fresh sea air. Yeah, it is. It is always a good idea to get out of the house, man. Especially nowadays where people are like, cooped up on the computer all the time. Like me, I need to get out of the house sometimes. That's why I go to Zumba. <clears throat> it's good for you. We family over in New Zealand. I went to visit them after James had grown up. We still write letters to each other at Christmas, you know. It's important to stay in touch with your family, even when we're so spread out. Okay, well, this. My husband Robert died when Will was young. He was a good writer, but I do wish he had tried a bit harder. Still, I loved him. Interesting. Well, let's see what the newspaper's all about. <laughs> my grandpa used to... <laughs> my grandpa used to look in the newspaper every day and look at the obituaries. I don't know if that's just something you do when you're old because you, like, want to see if your friends died or what happens. But he would always look at it and be like, hmm, not in the obituaries today. Back Until he died, then, then it was Diana awkward. had just done that interview. And so we were all waiting for the divorce. There was no way we thought that they could stay together. Okay, well, let's talk here. What do you think, Grandma? People seem to believe that all us old folk want to talk about is the weather. So I started the conversation. This is really, really interesting so far. I think it's sad. She was bullied into all of this from the beginning. Okay. The conversation didn't go well from there. I got very frustrated with him. What about you two? James didn't help. He has always been so <clears throat> obtuse in his views. So this is, this is Will's dad, right? And this must be the mom? I told you before that Sharon is American. She didn't say anything, which was probably a blessing, really. I wish I'd never even started the conversation. They didn't want to hear my opinion. Excuse me, I'm going to make some tea, I said. No one offered to help. <laughs> it's tea. What do you need help with? Damn. Huh. What do you guys think of this so far? Put a timestamp as to where we are in the video right now, because I never know exactly what time it is in the video. Let me know what you guys think so far. Like, I just want to- I want to learn more about Will and, like... Why this game was made? Really? Because, like, right now we're just getting a lot of filler on the grammar, which is cool, but I, like, I, I feel like Will did something really profound and really affected a lot of people. This is just kind of, like, day-to-day -day stuff that makes sense. I feel like there's going to be something super huge that we haven't quite explored yet. Was it childish? I don't think any of us wanted tea, but I didn't want to talk to them anymore. Uh, it sounds a little childish when you say it that way. I don't want to talk to them. I suppose all this seems like a strange thing to remember. But it was a sad day for me. Yeah, maybe maybe that's what this is. It's like it's another one of those things like of all the things you would remember, why this? James and Sharon both held their own views. I knew that. But Will What about him? Back then society worked by all getting along. You kept your head down. It's easier to stand up from the crowd now, but Well, I don't think it's right. What don't you think is right? If you go against society, you always end up in trouble. Man, if you are- uh, I, I guess- yeah, you, and you know what? Okay, that- that's very much so a generational thing because... We've- we even did this test when I was working at my job I had before YouTube. And the job I had, there was people who were like fresh out of college, like me. And then there's people who'd been in the workforce like for ever. They're like 45, 50. And they asked us a question. And the question was, if your employer tells you to jump, what do you say? And it, and he was like, people who are 40 and higher, you answer, and then people who are like 40 and younger, you answer. And he asked the question, people, or no, if your employer tells you to jump, what do you say? The people over 40 said, how high? And then the people under 40 said, why? That's very much so a generational thing, like, 
going against society and things like that and questioning things. That's something that my generation, or I'm guessing a lot of you who are watching, it's very much our generation type of thing. We want to know why we do things as opposed to just like following things just for the sake of following them. We didn't have all these choices. And we all turned out well enough. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry for being sick of blowing my nose, holy man. I was scared for him. He had all these views about things. And it was dangerous. I was so scared that Will was going to go off half-cocked and make a mess of his life. I really got a feeling that Grandma's not okay with him being gay. Just based on everything that she's been kind of like projecting onto us in terms of how she thinks of everything's got to be the old-fashioned way. I waited, letting the tea brew. Is that what we're even talking about? Like, I guess I don't even really know what we're talking about. I, I feel like I kind of missed that. And I found myself crying, standing in the kitchen like a silly old what's it. He was going to go off with views like that and get in trouble, and I couldn't do a thing. Views like what? Is it, is it really just about him being gay? I must have missed something. I knew something had been broken that day between Will and I. Like, is that what it is? The only reason I'm thinking this is because, one, I feel like I missed what they started talking about. Two, Harry, or not, Will was asking himself before I we... took a deep breath and pulled myself together. Will was asking himself if his grandma would show up, which is why I think that's what this is about, because he, like, questioned whether or not grandma would support him right in the beginning. It's not the dumb thing to let others see you get upset. Hmm. Interesting, man. <clears throat> I feel like this is very much an old person thing, though. Not all old people. Like, with anything, you can't stereotype everyone, but, like, in general, I feel like not accepting other people for what they want to be is very much so like last generation and like it's <sighs> i don't know robert man. passed away Letting soon after Will was born i've lived alone since then it felt tolerable being by myself until that new distance what do you it's mean? a terrible thing to feel detached from your own family Man, like, again, I really feel like I missed something here. What, what was this? I know I'm from a different generation with different values, but I don't think they're all wrong. Explain. I wasn't prepared to accept that Will wasn't going to talk to me anymore. Hmm. You can't accept it, really, when you see someone you love putting their future at risk. more about the tree, huh? So yeah, he's doing something that Grandma doesn't agree with. And that All could be... these free ideas about people choosing their own way to live, he would understand later. But how much later? Like, this could be many things. Like, there's... Based on how, what we've been learning about Grandma, Grandma probably disagrees with a whole lot of life choices that Will could be making. So, like, I don't know. And by the way, I'm not saying that to not that being gay is a life choice people are born gay man because and and when i was when i was working as a ca my supervisor he was gay and he explained it to me so well one day he's like especially especially for him because he was like in his 30s and he's like never would i ever say that someone was choosing to be gay back when i was in high school because based on just how much scrutiny and and bullying and stuff like that that he had to endure just by being himself never would he ever choose to go through that it was it's how he was born and he just wanted to be accepted for how he was and people were not accepting him now here in 2016 people are much better about that but we still especially here in america apparently have a really long way to go what damage might he do to his life before he saw that you need to fit in to get along and again, maybe Grandma isn't ranting about that, but that's what I'm ranting about, apparently. I didn't know what to expect that Christmas. I just wanted us to all be close again. But I was nervous. Hmm. What is this? Is this like a... 
I can't remember what they're called. Those- those things with all the candles on them. Gosh, I can't remember what they're called. I'm so bad. I remember a Christmas after Will had gone to university. But we were all coming back together for the holiday. Hmm. Well, let's go over here then. Anything else we got to put on the wall? I kept in touch with a lot of friends. We didn't have email, of course, but even now they just aren't as good as a real letter. Hmm. Dude, you know what I want? I want to be able to be like, hey, if you guys want to see me somewhere at some, like, get-together, just Skype me, bro. I, like, hate driving. Who knows how many hours to go see people, man. It's 2016. I could be there virtually. <laughs> Maybe I need to not be like that, but that's kind of how I feel sometimes. Like, damn, dude. Why I gotta make this so hard on me? Okay, let's do this. Grandma's doing a whole hell of a lot of decorating here, man. I don't even decorate my place. I especially don't put a tree up. You wanna know why? Because I have three cats. You know what three cats do with a tree? Eat it, tip it over, play with the baubles. It's a lot of work making a house look welcoming. Yeah, it looks but like it. But it was good to be busy. Man, screw this noise. You know what my decoration is? Snow. We get plenty of snow. I already know it's winter time. I don't need to put up Christmas crap. God, I'm so done with winter. Let's go over here, man. I live in Wisconsin, in the United States, so I pretty much am like, Foot deep of snow. I wanted the house to Nine look Nine months perfect. out of the year. Will was going to bring a girlfriend, Sarah, and I wanted her to get the right impression. See, now I'm confused, because, like, does she not... Now, it seems like Will, Will is not gay, he's bisexual. But that's why I'm like, were they really upset about that, or was it like Will just, like, choosing to do something else that, Will, that Grandma didn't like? Like, there's so many things that Grandma could disagree with here. Let's go pop these two people on. This looks like perhaps mom and dad, and this is what probably Sarah and Will. Whatever. My family arrived just as the Christmas lunch was ready. It was perfect timing. <clears throat> it's not like that isn't going to be a part of this game. It's something to talk about anyway, huh? Social issues on Swing Point's mind. Gosh, everybody's just got to be a little bit more accepting. And. God damn, let people do what the fuck they want to do. Don't try to make everyone be the same way as you. Fuck. <laughs> people just gotta stop giving so much a shit. Will and I hadn't spoken for months. I didn't know if he understood that when we disagreed, it was only because I cared so much about him. Just because you have good intentions doesn't mean you're not an asshole. Sarah was lovely, of course. She was a bit shy back then, I think. We talked about her university courses. She really had no reason to be nervous. Now these two break up. I saw that in the description of the game. See, like, now Grandma could be disagreeing with his, like, choices on university, too. I don't know. I came from a family where, like, my family had no problem. At least my mom and my grandma had no problem telling me how you're supposed to live. James is like my husband, Robert. Kind at heart, but I wish he would apply himself. When Sharon took Will to America, he was only ten. Like most boys, he wasn't much of a letter writer. She took him away from us for three years, and I barely saw him. My grandma's very much like this grandma. She will take care of you and do absolutely everything for you. She loves you so much, but she definitely is a little not with it in the year 2016. But everything she does is based off of, like, her caring about you. My mom, not so much. My mom's just selfish, but, like, my grandma? Oh my gosh. She loves you so much, but she just kind of needs to listen a little bit better. Will was a perfect gentleman. Aww. Look at you cut that chicken turkey thing. I don't know which bird that is, but you're doing such a great job. Such a great little gentleman you are. What else can I touch in here, huh? Oh. That's it? Well, let's drink, huh? Cheers, everyone. He had such fine manners. Thanks. No problem, girlfriend. Hmm, well, let's eat. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to touch here. Excuse me. Well, let's eat all the things! Wow, there's so many things here. Jesus. There we go. Eat it all. Like a bunch of ravenous animals. I felt so proud of Will. Thanks, Grandma. But, uh, let's go see what Mommy's up to here, this stupid American woman. He was becoming the man I had hoped he would be. Hmm. 
What about you? Still working on him, huh? With Sarah, I hoped he would be on track to a normal life. Hmm, what does that mean? Let's talk to Sarah here. But that was the last time I saw her. Yeah, they broke up, didn't they? Again, I saw that in the description. Ex-girlfriend Sarah. So I imagine this is gonna be... multi-part series here. Grandma, girlfriend, and boyfriend, right? Based on the description of the game, there's probably gonna be three chapters here. And don't forget, like, the entire thing about this game is, like, how this character, Will, before he died, influenced people. Right? And I guess really how the next he, summer, I went to visit Will at university. How he influenced people after he was gone, too, like the memory of him. I feel like that's even more so what the case is, and what the second part is, like how the memories you leave behind influence people in the future. Hmm. I always like to arrive on time. It's just polite. So I had left plenty of time for the drive down to see him. The university had a lovely mix of old and new buildings. After arriving early, I went to look at them. I really like the style of this game, by the way. I'm absolutely loving it. And they do such a good job of, like, pointing you in the right direction. This whole, like, lighting up what you gotta touch next. Thank God! More games need to do that. Young people were everywhere, full of life and excitement before the summer break. I hoped I might see Sarah among all the beautiful girls. Oh my God, college girls, I miss. I miss so much. I never went to university. It wasn't like it is now where it seems normal to go. It was nice to see so many people improving their lives. And I'm just saying that because it's nice scenery. God, I'm a guy. I can look. It's okay. I saw Will before he saw me. He was a short distance away. And I couldn't make out what he was doing. Oh, he's about to make out. That's what he's doing. That's Harry right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I saw that he was holding hands with a man. Oh my gosh, you are judgmental. I can hear it in your voice. Let's see what Grandma's reaction is. And then they kissed. Out in the open where Mwah. anyone could see. Oh, so sure enough. Grandma is judgmental about this. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if I was just like completely off course here, but yeah, that's exactly what it is. After everything I had tried to teach him. Look at her. He went and did that. I couldn't believe it. I knew those views of his would get him in trouble. Oh, wow, look at he's in so much danger right now. Oh, yeah, you grabbed that ass. <laughs> well, let's plow through the people here, I guess. I left right away. By the way, Harry did not kill him. The car that crashed into him did. Just saying. Well, let's keep moving here. Man, you turned around and didn't even say I hi didn't to him? I didn't what to say to him. I I just couldn't think of anything. <sighs> Will didn't see me. What was I supposed to do? Act like everything was going to be okay for him? Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just not he give was so shits. young. He didn't see the trouble he could get into if he kept doing that sort of thing. What sort of trouble, huh? Be judged by old people? <laughs> But all that's the happening. university suddenly seemed like an ugly place to me. All that entitlement and sense of smugness. What's up to yourself, man? It was full of children running around abusing the freedom that my generation worked hard to earn for them. And like, I'm torn about this because, like, I obviously disagree with what Grandma is saying here. But, like, she's so old and grew up that way, like, it... It's hard to convince people who have been the same way for 60, 70 years, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't even know how to get Grandma to agree with that, you know what I mean? Other than... Other than she's gotta do it on her own, right? You know what I mean? Like, you can sit here and yell at her all day and be like, No, you gotta think better! But, like, you gotta be more accepting! But... You can't do that to somebody and expect it to work. They gotta do it on their own. They gotta be inspired on their own. Which, unfortunately, maybe in this case, takes the death of your grandson in order to get that point across. I don't know. Like, it's just... And it's, it's even fine if she disagrees with it, right? Like, whatever. As long as she doesn't use her disagreement to judge other people, like, affect other people 
outwardly. Does that make sense? Like, keep it to yourself, I guess is what I'm really trying to say, in terms of Grandma's point of view. I could barely stay civil with anyone there. He had made me furious. He was putting himself in danger after everything I had done for him. Like, he doesn't owe it to you to be straight. That sort of thing. It all just feels wrong to me. Sorry, but that's just the way I feel about this. <sighs> like, I, like, I, like, trying to, trying to convince this lady, like, why, why can't you just be okay with it? Like, I, what I would ultimately end up doing is just being like, okay, whatever, she disagrees with me, big deal. If she doesn't want to talk to me, that's I barely fault. saw Will for the next few years. I couldn't bring myself to talk to him. It sounds like Will did the same thing. He's just like, whatever. I'm gonna be who I want to be. If you can't be okay with that and you can't accept me and love me for who I am, well, I guess we're not gonna talk until you figure yourself out, lady. And then unfortunately, he died. silly of me. And see that, and maybe that's the big lesson that Grandma learned here is like, was, was it really worth not talking to him? Was it really worth judging him? He's gone now, and now you can never talk to him again. And all those good memories you had, all those good things, all those good feelings that you had had over your entire lives, you can't even talk to him about it anymore. And the last thing that you said to him years ago was after university not nice things he went traveling seeing the world i stayed at my house maybe they talk again though i mean i'm just saying that now but like they might meet up one more time before he dies <clears throat> i'm not sure man can you tell this type of stuff like makes me mad when people aren't accepting of other people it just drives me wild And I guess you could say I'm not accepting of the grandma's views, but like, I really don't feel like me not accepting someone not accepting how someone is, is that big a deal. <laughs> Does that Being make sense? Being alone in the house by yourself. I, I said my husband Robert died when Will was young, didn't I? Being alone can make you live in the past. You watch the world change without you. Again, she has good intentions. She just won't listen. That's what it is. She just doesn't want to hear someone else out because she's so convinced that she's right. <clears throat> and who cares if you're right? It's not about that. Not about being right or wrong, it's just about being happy with what you're doing. And if you're happy being straight, that's fine. If Will's happy being bisexual, that's fine. What's not fine is when you're not gonna be fine with someone else being the way they are. I had all these hopes for who Will would be when he was a grown man. Probably never really understood how much I loved him when he was growing up. He was such a happy, playful boy. You hear that crow? And then he changed. <laughs> that crow's bad news bears. But what do you mean he changed? Like, there's got to be something deeper than that, right? Like, it's not just the fact that he's bisexual like something else must have changed about him right there's got to be more to the story than this but life goes on there's got to be something else that happened here like emotionally not just orientation i was working in the garden things go wild if you leave them too long gotta be something else dude i do not have the patience for gardening i could never do this oh my gosh I heard there's something really therapeutic about it, though. Gardening and keeping up plants and things like that. It's good for the soul. Have a little bit of a green thumb. Is that how you got, Grandma? Will would occasionally send me a postcard from somewhere foreign on his travels. 
That's how you can tell you're getting old. You see that right there? That knee pad? That's how you can tell I'm getting old. I like having something to like protect my knees when I'm on the ground. I don't know why or when I got so old, but oh my god, my knees. I'm only 23. It's only gonna get worse from here, man. He wasn't in travel journalism back then. Even though I was angry, I still <clears throat> worried about him. Hmm. When's the last time you talked to your grandparents? Has it been a while? I mean, if they're still alive. And why haven't you talked to them? Is it for good reasons? Bad reasons? Just because you haven't thought about them in a while? Out of sight, out of mind type of thing? Because eventually everyone dies. And all you have left is memories. Maybe you should talk to him, huh? Even if they're judgmental. If they care and you know they care. At least you can still talk to them. And then just agree to disagree. And hopefully they do too. <laughs> hopefully they just agree to disagree. Can I go through here yet? I heard a... Heard a doorbell. That must be a whale. It's gotta be who that is. Who else would it be? Come on, the whole story's about that kid. I was going to answer it, but snagged my foot in the grass and twisted my ankle. Help, I found it and I can't get up. It hurt like blazes. And I lay there feeling like a complete fool. Where's life alert? Hello? Life alert? I couldn't do a thing. The doorbell went again. But it hurt too much to move. I called out for help. Not very loud. I heard footsteps around the side of the house. Will had come to visit after coming back from traveling. I'd ignored him for so long. I never made the effort to reach out to him, but he never gave up on me. He looked after me anyway. I saw the kind boy that I knew inside the man he had become. I don't claim that I'll understand some of his choices. Let's get you inside. But I had missed something. Distracted by just one part of him, I missed that he was the kind, strong, loving man I had always wanted him to be. The best sort of man. He was even kind to a fool like me. Is it just me, or are you feeling like a little teary-eyed? I don't know why that hit me all of a sudden. Man, it's... I'll never forget that. Man. At least Grandma learned her lesson, huh? It's because she disagreed with something that he does. Doesn't mean. Oh, so I get it now. So grandma was probably the kitchen. Another part of you is probably the bathroom. And another part of you is probably some other place in here, huh? Damn, man. <laughs> Cheerios. Okay, so. I think this is a good place to end this first episode here. I didn't realize how long this game was going to be. But it looks like there's going to be plenty more to it. Let me know if you guys want to see more. I really, uh really feel like this is going to be a good game. And there's going to be a lot of stuff for us to really think about here. Really dive deep and explore. And I hope you guys are excited to see it too. Sorry if I went on like rants about old people. <laughs> but I feel like this game, I, feel, I mean, I feel like that's kind of what you're supposed to do, right? Is like feel these things and like have passions towards something. And like that's what this whole point of this game is, right? Is to like really just look at life and think about it a little bit more instead of just going day by day. At least that was like the big message right in the beginning. And I'm glad that grandma ended up like 
you know, thinking a little bit more and just kind of accepting him instead of being so stuck on her one judgment. Like, she was finally able to get over that one thing she disagreed with and realized that there's a lot more to somebody other than their freaking sexual orientation. You know what I mean? So, thank you guys so much for watching this. This is Fragments of Him, the first part of it. Once again, sorry for being sick. I know I've been kind of sniffly and a little coffee every once in a while, but I think I'm getting better, so. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best. I plan on doing more of this. Let me know if you guys want to see more by leaving a like. Subscribe if you guys want to see more of this, and I will see you guys in the next video that we do around here. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Meow! Yeah. Everyone, my name is Swingpoint, and let's play a game that I didn't even know was coming out. It's called The Beginner's Guide. <laughs> and what you need to know about this game is what I.